Guess the drug was too strong. Wake him up. No dozing off. You still don't get it, do you? Give it up! Come on, cooperate! What? You want another shot? Huh? What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? So, you're not that dumb. Which is good. Cause we get to take as much time as we need! Destruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. It's a thing that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? You should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I see. I need your hand to sign this, but... I don't care if you end up losing a leg. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. Excuse me, but this area is off. I'm Nijima from the Public Prosecutor's Office. The Prosecutor's Office? What business do you have here? Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Besides... You Prosecutor Sai Nijima? There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Hmm. I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation? I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Good luck to you, then. I won't be expecting much, though. Uh, Prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. Well done on making it this far, inmate. Now that you have traversed your long, perilous recollection, you truly have entered the present. The effects of that drug are gonna wear off soon. This is your golden opportunity. You must grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. The evil influence who wishes you dead is fast approaching. If you want to win this unreasonable game, if you wish to take back your stolen future, 
Recall the bonds you formed with your allies, and grasp the truth that will save you from the brink of ruin. <laughs> I see. So that's what led to your ending up here. What a disappointing end to the Hero of Justice. I still can't believe it. But I now have a general idea of the methods you used for your crimes. There's much more I'd like to ask, but my allotted time is nearly up. I do have a suggestion, though. Care to strike a deal? If you cooperate with me, I'll consider lightening your sentence. I have a responsibility to solve this case. I will win, even if it means brokering a deal with you. Your operation was leaked and you failed to change my heart. There's no point in being obstinate now. You've corrupted the order of this country and caused an uprising against its very existence. You'll most likely be given life imprisonment or the death penalty. Unless you accept my proposal. Going forward, I will read a list of people who are closest to you and this case. Tell me honestly whether or not the following are involved with the Phantom Thieves. First, the friend who you've been with since the day you transferred to Shujin, Ryuji Sakamoto. One of the victims of the Kamoshida case, On Takamaki. Ichiryusai Matarame's pupil, Yusuke Kitagawa. The daughter of Wakaba Ishiki, Futaba Sakura. The heiress to the Okumura Foods legacy and daughter of its CEO, Haru Okumura. And the frequently probing student council president of Shujin Academy, Makoto Nijima. Those are your accomplices in the Phantom Thieves case, are they not? So you won't sell out your friends. Then let me change the question. I find it hard to believe that high schoolers could have pulled off these crimes by themselves. Were there not others outside of your direct group who encouraged your crimes or lent their aid? Not to repeat myself, but remember that your life will be forfeit if your sentence is not lightened. You had the cooperation of people outside your group, did you not? Can you tell me about them? I see. So you won't speak a word about either your teammates or your collaborators. Do you even understand the position that you're in? Let's discuss one other person, Goro Akechi. There are reports that he was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves as well. Might he be a part of your team, too? So Goro Akechi wasn't one of you. Very well. So be it. You clearly have no intention of bargaining with me. Even now, you're still acting as though you're a hero of justice. Your teammates have sacrificed you in order to escape, yet you wish to defend their honor? Why won't you talk about them? Don't be ridiculous! You're not the one to decide such things! Justice? Then tell me. What is this justice you speak of? Sticking to the right path? 
That's no different from us. You continue to stand firm. Are you implying that we have no evidence on you? You're right. We have nothing. And it doesn't help that your story sounds like a fairy tale. But many people have fallen victim to this. We need to learn the truth. <sighs> the truth, huh? I don't even know what's right anymore. And it's all due to your strange story. After all this, you're still... Are you listening? The side effects of the truth serum should be wearing off. I won't be deceived by such a poor act. You realized it too then. It was our conversation about pancakes, right? There's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me. Hey. Can you hear me? It seems your mind is clearing up. But unfortunately, my time has run out. Although I find your story to be quite interesting, I won't be able to speak with you any longer. Huh? What are you getting at? That's right. No matter the results of this case, I won't be receiving credit. I even had to call in a large favor just to conduct this interrogation. So, how did that thing we asked you to look into go? Nijima mentioned a special interrogation room, didn't she? Good. It looks like we can make this work if we lure them there. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Our time's up. We're done talking here. Goodbye. Do you mean this interrogation room? Why wouldn't I know about it? What an odd thing to ask. Anyhow, there's one last thing I want to ask you. There's something that's been bothering me for some time now. Recently, I was removed from my post as head of this investigation and was told to remain on standby. A short while later, I received word you were caught in the act, within some bizarre phenomenon. But that was all I was told. You were told someone sold you out, correct? If that's true, who could it have been? Don't you have any idea? My suspicions were true in the end. To think his true intention was to sell us out. All that's left is to figure out a way to hand it over. It's all up to you, leader. Okay then. Giving him the phone without arousing suspicion will be easier said than done. We'll be counting on you to pull this one off. What's wrong? Might you have an idea as to who sold you out? <gasps> yes, very well. Go on. If you know something, you must tell me. I won't allow things to end like this. You mean this? I've been told the lock on it is quite complicated, but it's only a matter of time until it's cracked. What's so important about this smartphone? Are you going to unlock it and show me the data? Let's let her sleep. She hasn't slept for days while she's been getting that app ready. Now we gotta figure out a way to show him the phone. Didn't Makoto and the others tell you? You need to show your phone to the true culprit. You know, the traitor. Hey! What are you trying to get at here? And what about this smartphone? The true culprit? 
Let's say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Public security questioning will occur on the first day. And with that room, my task will be simple. And thus, the dangerous criminal responsible for the mass mental shutdowns shall end his own life. Please. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? What do you... Oh, my God. You're referring to him, aren't you? <sighs> what are you plotting? I can't even begin to fathom it. But it appears my time is up. This is as far as our conversation can go. This will be my last involvement with this case. <laughs> Very well. I've listened to your whole story, so I may as well play along to the end. And that honest look in your eyes. I used to view the world the same way too once. I'll place my bet on you. I just need to show him the phone, right? shall become the wings of rebellion and break the yoke of thy heart. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of judgment, granting thee infinite power. going now. What good will this do, though? A Ketchikun? Why are you here? Why do you seem so surprised? I needed my director to step in to get access, and I was directly responsible for this case. How did you get approval? For the same reason you did, I am heading up the investigation team after all. It's only natural I'd have the right to interrogate our culprit as well, don't you think? <gasps> they assigned you command? <laughs> that was a joke, of course. I'm merely here to assist with the public security interrogation. I am surprised it's this far underground, though. There aren't any others incarcerated here, yes? Nobody would ever know if things got a little violent. If I remember correctly, didn't you say there was another culprit besides the Phantom Thieves? That was but a lie I spread to set them up. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot that I had deceived you too, sai son. After all, if you wish to trick your enemies, you must first trick your allies. So it was you. You're the one who sold out the Phantom Thieves. I need you to be clear with me. Who am I supposed to show this to? Oh my god. You're referring to him, aren't you? Is there a problem? Akechi-kun, does this phone look familiar to you? Hmm? Excuse me? <sighs> what is this phone? It belonged to the leader of the Phantom Thieves. I believe you'll need it for your investigation. Not personally. I was acting alongside the Phantom Thieves myself, remember? True. This is undoubtedly a great accomplishment. Good luck in there. <clears throat> Foolish woman. that you accompany me? 
Going in unarmed to interrogate a murderer makes me uncomfortable. Huh? What are you? I owe you for all of this. Thanks. That's right. You and your little friends were vital to our plan. And now it will be completed. Your popularity truly was quite stunning. That just made using you all the more worthwhile. Have you finally pieced it all together? <laughs> Case closed. This is how your justice ends. Shido-san, my job is complete. I've told you not to call me by name. Regardless, all that's left is to deal with the remnants. The continued deaths of these teenagers would be a bit much, don't you think? I considered making it appear they had a falling out, but that would only amplify public frenzy. It would be best to have each of them meet with an unfortunate accident once the storm blows over. Is there any possibility they'll want to avenge their leader? No chance. They're nothing but cattle anyway. They have no backbone without his guidance. I will keep my eye on them just in case, though. I'll be counting on you. They will live their lives cowering in fear of death. An apt punishment for obstructing our work. Make sure to kill that strange cat once you find it as well. Understood. Though I doubt there's anything to worry about. It's merely a cat, after all. More importantly, they should be dealing with the suicide right about now. Things will become quite busy once the word gets out. I'll need to prepare my comments on the matter. I must be prepared to deal with it on my end as well. Beyond that, what of the director of the Special Investigations Unit? Perhaps he'll be struck by a mysterious illness sometime soon. No, it can't be. Even me. God, God damn it. all that about showing him this phone the phantom thief alibaba who is this i am alibaba a member of the phantom thieves i inquire as to your justice sai nijima how do they know i have this goro akechi is evil he didn't come to interrogate the captured phantom thief he came to kill him 
could say he stole the guard's gun and committed suicide during his imprisonment. How about that? Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. <laughs> Don't trust the guard, either. He's an accomplice as well. Now then, I'll tell you detailed steps to take. You must save him. You want me to save him? <sighs> huh? What is it? Um, nothing. <laughs> anyway, what brings you here? I thought you were done with your business. Did anyone else stop by? <sighs> Nobody? Th there'd be no reason for anyone else to come down here. Yes, the guard will be one of ours. We'll have to eliminate him after to destroy the evidence, though. So it's all true. Of course it's true. Is something the matter? It's a Ketchikun. He had to take a sudden call, so he won't be able to make it down today. Huh? I've been asked to handle things instead. Y you But... You know, <gasps> if you stay here, they'll likely get rid of you to eliminate any evidence. I suggest you go into hiding at once if you value your life. Y yes, ma'am. And don't say a word of what transpired here. Trust nobody. Forget this ever happened. And now we return to our continued report. This morning, the police have announced that they have detained a suspect who may in fact be the leader of the Phantom Thieves group. The suspect is reported to be a young John, man who is Can I get you to look over here? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm? So he got caught. That group sure was something. It, yeah. So the next shoot got me thinking. How about we have you do an idol thing, you know? That cool? What a surprise. To think that the one behind all this is just a minor. And considering how quickly they announced his arrest, the police must surely be confident in the outcome of this case. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll be. Huh? Goodness, look at you now. It's been a while, Ryuji. Huh? Uh, yeah. You stopped visiting so abruptly, everyone was worried about you. Uh, it's uh... your second year, right? Are you still doing track and field? I'd love to see you run again. Also, the young man continues to remain silent, refusing to implicate any potential accomplices. However, considering the number of charges brought against him... I wonder if something happened. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You seemed stumped for once. Not feeling it today? Hmm. Uh, yes. Oh, I'm not chiding you. Just do as normal at your own pace. With your skills, there's no need to worry about your future. Hmm. Normal. Right. He's just a high school student. How do you think he was contacting the others? The police here can search any online communications. His accomplices may slip up eventually. <laughs> Still, it seems the Phantom Thieves' most recent targets have gone comatose. Actual harm has been done here. Given the lack of physical violence, their method is still a mystery. Mm. Regardless, the police are looking into attempted murder charges. You never turned it in? That's quite the surprise. I thought I lost it this whole time. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, your grades are excellent. And you're student council president. I'm sure you'll be admitted anywhere you apply. That one phantom thief should have followed your example. You hear? It seems he was caught. Some high schooler. I wonder why he turned to a life of crime. We also received information that the young man was placed on probation for assault. Because of his previous record, he had to leave his hometown. Perhaps his motive lies there. 
I believe your father can rest in peace now. That phantom thief could never have changed anything. Only a handful of people are qualified to alter the world. So you've been coming home late. That's what I've heard. I make a good playmate, you know. We have breaking news. The young man being held in custody has committed suicide. The police have confirmed his death, although details have not been released. To repeat, the suspect has committed suicide while in custody. This station will continue to report any further updates as they arrive. It would be difficult to uncover his methods now. Perhaps that's why he decided to take this course of action. It can't be. It would seem as though you have been killed. But why were you killed? Why did you have to die? Do you remember? It seems you forgot an important fact while your consciousness was hazy. Indeed, your death was a necessity for your escape from certain doom. <laughs> what a tremendous plan. How might you be capable of executing such a feat? Well then, let us rouse the memories which are missing. going you realized it too then it was our conversation about pancakes right there's no way he could have reacted like that if he hadn't heard me my thoughts exactly it was your social studies trip we met him in the hallway of that TV station There's no way that this is the first time he's heard my voice. This whole deal feels sketchy. Yeah, that was my plan too. Okay, let's get everyone on the same page right away. <sighs> There's something else we want you to look into. One more person has been on our mind. If it's possible, I want to eavesdrop on their phone conversation. Hmm, that'll be tough. I agree. Hmm, I'd have to plant a bug directly on the phone. So it's impossible even for you. I didn't say it was impossible. I've got a plan. That's perfect. Don't worry, I'll tell you the details later. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> I see. So we're going to use this place. It'll be a gamble. I think it's gonna work. You can't tell a thing. It seems you finally remember. This game is not over yet. There are still things that must be done. <laughs> 